March 4th, 2016, Friday of the third week of Lent. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree, because of me you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. The response is, I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen, I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Mark 4, Friday, the third week of Lent. The first reading comes from the book of the prophet Hosea, chapter 14, verses 2 to 10. The prophet speaks about how Israel has turned away from the Lord. They've relied upon the power of enemy forces, such as Assyria, such as Egypt. They've worshipped pagan gods. They've created idols and they've worshipped them. 
And so it's an infidelity. In fact, in the book of the prophet Hosea, sin is paralleled to marital infidelity because the covenant is a type of marriage between God and his people. This people has turned away from the Lord who rescued them, who cares for them. And therefore, they are like an unfaithful spouse. They deserve to be punished. Nevertheless, God will raise them up again. Their people will blossom like the vine if they only turn back to the Lord. The Gospel is from Mark 12, 28-34. A scribe asked Jesus, what is the first of all the commandments? Scribes were mostly Pharisees, people who were lawyers of the law of Israel. What does Jesus respond? Hear, O Israel, the Lord is your God, the Lord alone. This is the Shema Israel, the creedal formula of Israel. And how is Israel to love the Lord? With their heart, soul, mind, and strength. Heart means intellect. They're supposed to study about the Lord and love the Lord with their heart, with their intellect. With their soul, to love the Lord until they tear the soul right out of their body. In other words, in time of persecution. Strength means possessions. That everything they own is dedicated to the service of the Lord. In mind seems to mean conscience. That they have a clear conscience. That what they do is filled with integrity, is transparent. The scribe says, well said, teacher. The scribe, even though he's not really a friend of Jesus, recognizes the wisdom in what Jesus is saying, and people are afraid to ask any more questions. The scribes and the Pharisees have been asking questions to try to trick Jesus, to try to show that he doesn't really know what he's talking about. But in his simple wisdom, in his integrity, he's proven more wise than they were. It's very much the case of the child who's able to see that the emperor has no clothes. Even though Jesus has not studied the law as much as they have, he's recognized the very core, the very message of the law, and he's able to communicate it to others. And may God bless us. Mm -hmm.